Salutations, this is Grem Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI. Are you guys ready to take over Australia? I sure am. Let's hit next turn and go for it. We're going to get Scorched Earth next turn. I don't think we care about any policies. The settler policy maybe we could use at some point just to fill out our map. Um, someone had commented uh, about just how many barbarians there are on this map, and it's true. There are a ridiculous amount of barbarians that constantly spawn. The reason is because we've had half of this map almost entirely to ourselves for almost the entirety of the game. And usually, by this point in the game, the uh, the computer players have built... They, they just, like, expand like crazy. They fill every little corner of the map in with cities. And we haven't had... We haven't done that, and we haven't had a need to do that. But we have successfully prevented the enemy from, you know, sending settlers over here. So... By this point in the game, it's extremely rare for there to be these giant swaths of land that are not inhabited by anybody. And I think that's why we keep getting all these barbarians. So the way to solve that is to just build cities everywhere. We don't really have a huge, the you know, it's either build settlers everywhere or just keep taking care of these barbarians. And it's kind of been, you know, it's been easier just to take care of the barbarians so far. Uh, Koinos. Koinos the spy. Uh, what are we going to do with you? Um, I think we have someone counter-spying here already? Um, I could have you do the same thing. Why don't you counter-spy out of campus? Cool. All right. Because I think people are stealing tech boosts from us. Tech boosts. Oh, you want peace, do ya? Oh. Well, that is interesting. That is interesting. You would give us a lot of stuff. Um, how did you get Canterbury Tales and Eugene O'Neill? I guess you must have, because weren't weren't those things that we, um, that uh, Congo had? I guess they must have traded them. Congo must have given them to them for something. But, you know, I think I would rather just take them by force. So, oh, plus you would just give us Sydney? You would... G interesting. It is interesting. But I think we need to take them out most mostly. Um, that is interesting, though. Um, so Sydney should prob is probably a really nice city, and it is. But we wouldn't connect... I think we need to take Nadaros because it was a capital. Oh, we're not changing our policies. Um, we need to take Nadaros. We'll take Sydney. What will we leave them with? You know, I've been attacking this city, but we could leave them with that city. They might have a city. You know what? I th they have a city up here that we can't see. I have a feeling that whatever city is up there is what we leave them with. Okay. Uh, let's choose our next civic. Um, whatever at this point. It's turn by turn. Um, okay, so you build an amphitheater. We... Ooh, you know what? We do want the Bolshoi. I mean, the, the great points per turn don't help us too much, but... And it is a little late to be getting this. Like, we don't really need free civics anymore either. But wonders are wonders. And this guy's not really building anything else. We could do a trader... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, this would be a good farming triangle. Oh, no, we can't actually... No city has this in range, do, do they? Hmm. And you have, you have plenty of places to farm. You know... Let's do it. Let's build the Bolshoi here. It'll take a little bit, but your production's not bad. Uh, in fact, can you production focus? Um, did that help your production at all? I don't know if it actually did. Uh, by two turns. Yeah, one turn, really. One turn. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, you know what? We could have... A builder chops some stuff. No, there's nothing to chop. Um, you could get coffee. You could use another builder. 
Could someone else build the Bolshoi? I know I keep I keep hedging here. Um, whoa, sorry, hit the microphone. Sorry about that. All right, I'm going to change you. Build a builder. Pidna, like, could you build a Bolshoi? No. Oh, I already had it set the Bolshoi down, so now it has to do it. Unless we... Oh. Whoops. Oh, well. I mean, I could... No, uh, buying a builder is too much. Not worth it. Um, Pidna, you could use a builder, though, and I could use that builder for uh, Mathone as well. Because I could use a farm here. I could get a nice farming triangle here. Uh, then move you over here, get the coffee, do some other stuff. Arma. Um, hmm. What can we do with you? Why don't you build a trader? Beautiful. Alexandrupoli. All right, no more traders. Uh, you could probably build some... What's it? You build a builder too, because we want coastal whatevers. You know what? I could change our civics to get do the builder one. We are building one, two, three builders. Although in one turn, we're not going to get any builders in the next turn. Not that I see. I see a few in two turns. Whoops. Nope. Didn't mean that. Um, so we could just get it next turn switch our policies to get the builder one so that they get more builds yeah let's oh you are getting one you know what let's do it let's change your policies um you are helping i'm gonna put you aside for now and temporarily switch out to the builder one where's the builder one Because the extra 30% production might mean even more of the builders get built next turn. One. Um, no, still two there. One day. Okay. Yep. We got another one there. I think I think it's worth it. Um, we could purchase an armory with our faith. Yeah. Why don't we do that? And then also a military academy. Uh, it would give us production. Well, you know what? I think we might want to save our faith for potentially another naturalist. So let's save it. Um, and do we build one right out, though? Sure. Okay. Uh, Longsi, you can build another district, which is great. Um, it is great. Although you need a builder, I think. You need to get rid of some of these swamps. And we have that builder civic right now. Why don't you do it? And this guy. Look at this. Look at this. Um, we could move you down here. There's a niter there. The thing is, there's just not a lot of resources down here to incentivize us. We already have a settler coming over here, I think. Although, it would make more sense if the settler here came, went, like, over here. Yeah. You know what? Why doesn't this settler, like, just come over here temporarily? And this settler can start moving over here. Somewhere. Okay. But to Congo, you built a builder, but it was a little too, too late, or too early. Um, what do you do now? You have research lab broadcast center would be good. You also need, oh yeah, you need a neighborhood. And you had put one down, so. Now what are we going to have this builder do? Um, you do need production, so. Let's get you over here. Cool. You can see if we get some seaside resorts over there. Uh, Ballarat. Finished a water mill. Um, why don't you build? I don't know. Why don't you build another builder? Why not? Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. You need... This is Ballarat still. You need um, to f fix your walls. 
Uh, so you're wrong. Power plant. Great. I think that works. Um, okay. Broken hill. You also need to repair your walls. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, monument in Adelaide. Now you also need to repair your walls. A lot of that getting done. Perth, um, repair the watermill first. Yarkoi, uh, watermill first or monument? You know, let's do the monument. We have two more envoys. We have a bunch of envoys, which is great. We might as well max out what we get out of Nan Madal, and we still have five envoys left. We really don't need Granada. So our in, our, the rest of our envoys are just backups. But that should help. Okay. All right, we got another uh, trade route. Let's make sure we get it, make an international. Scroll all the way down here. Um, now you could use some food. So maybe we do, none of these give us a lot of food. <laughs> this one gives us some. Yeah, why don't you go to Mbanza and Pengu? I'll be fine. Okay. Um, green sharpshooters. Yeah, you should be able to come here and attack. And do a pretty good job here. Didn't kill them outright, but should be pretty close. Yes, very close. Oh, yes. Excellent. That'll be very nice for Philippolis. Okay, now let's continue um, our siege of Australia. Let's see. What are we going to do? So all of their units have either been destroyed or are retreating. Maybe they're moving to the other front. But I think now, I think we can probably safely walk up to the city and take it. So I'm going to move. I'm going to start moving these guys um, to the north. I think there's a river here we can't see or something. Um... Yeah, I'd rather move you into the city. So you move over here. You get in the city. And you're out of movement. Uh, you can't move anymore, but you can attack, so why not? Um, and our jet bombers can also keep attacking the units. that are Not bombers, uh, jet fighters. That's what they're good at. They're good at attacking units, so may as well. Okay, um, over here, I think our next target is definitely Bergen. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, one, two, three, four. Over here. Uh, yeah, I don't like this encampment here. But pretty much anywhere that we can attack... Oh, no, right here we could attack them from. One, two, three, four. Oh, can we attack them from here? Uh, where's our balloon? Oh, this one—I moved the wrong unit. Uh, whoops. Um. Oh dear, I didn't mean that. Uh, I can move you here. You'd be attacked by barbarians, but that—you know—I think that's okay. You can stay there and just absorb those hits, because you're gonna have major victories. You just stay on alert for now. Um, so you, we need to move. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Is that all your movement? No. That is not all your movement. You can still attack, but we cannot attack Bergen. Oh, it's because we didn't bring the, uh, we didn't bring this guy. Wait, what's going on? There we go. There's the observation balloon. Now you can attack Bergen. Yes. I knew my math was right. And we are out of range of the encampment. These guys are OP. Uh, does our bomber reach? Because our bomber is still way back here. Our bomber does reach. What do you know about that? Range is so good. It's just annoying watching them do this every time. All right, who's next? 
Uh, this builder in our ma who just got built, also a little early. Um, yeah, get the uh, uranium. That'll be nice for production. We could definitely use another trade route here. This this uh, this road is pretty old, very old. Um, all right, you still have walls, although they are not looking good. Um, this bomber I can almost reach Bergen, but not quite. Uh, you're going to keep attacking this city. Um, and this fighter is going to keep attack this unit here. That's what you're good at. It's better. It's more satisfying if you make your own noises. <laughs> I don't know how to make machine gun noises. Ratatata. Ratatata tata. Uh, missionary is going to hang out. Okay. Um, we might be able to get Bergen's Walls down with our plane here. But it's not that important. I could just have you attack some of these um, helicopters. You know, I might as well attack the walls. I think these helicopters are going to kill themselves against our um, much better units. The Salty Arrows. All right, the walls aren't completely down, but that's okay. Um, I think the Salty Arrows are going to stay where they are, actually. Can you get into Bergen? You can. Okay. All right. I think this guy must have just taken out a barbarian encampment. Yeah, I think so. Uh, there's one down here now. Let's help. Let's help out with that one. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So many barbarian encampments. It's ridiculous. We might actually need to build some more units. Uh, we don't have any policies for it, but... Um, you know what? I kind of want... A road... Oh. You know, I'm going to switch you to... Yeah, actually, I guess no one would ever use this road anymore now that we have roads here and here. So maybe it doesn't really make that big of a difference. Um... Food would be nice, but again, none of these are really good for food anymore. Kinshasa. Nanmadal. Nanmadal would a good extra culture, so why don't we do that? It's a long trade route, but all of these are. Actually, no, not all of them are. Like, Toronto and Auckland are super short. But this is fine. Go to Nanmadal. Really long trade route. Um, observation balloon is staying there. In fact, why don't you, um, link up? Cool. You're staying there. You are staying there. Um, we probably have another barbarian. Well, uh, this guy's going for that barbarian encampment. I think we have another one that spawned, though. Oh, this guy's going for this. Decisive victory. I think you are going to hang out in Alexandria and the Caucasus and stay on alert. I guess we're okay with units. Um, let's also have you go to Namadal. All these international trade routes. It's great. I have so many trade routes going to Namadal. Um, we are not sending envoys. Um, I think the way to... There we go. Next turn... Next turn. We'll get a few more builders uh, next turn that have um, extra builds, which will be really nice. Oh, someone else needs orders. We should also take a look at this stuff. Um, oh, yes. Great. Niter. That'll be really nice for Ayani. Very nice. Uh, who needs food? Bjarkoi, yep. And uh, Changsha needs housing. Uh, but you're going to be done with that district soon, and then we'll worry about that. Oh, yeah. We knew about that. So you're good. Trading post created. Great. Done with all the messages. We're actually fine on amenities right now. Um, and in general, we're fine on housing. We're doing pretty good. Okay. Great. Uh, we should be able to take care of these guys pretty easily, too, I think. I am a big proponent of harnessing the power of fusion. Great. 
There's class warfare, all right. Great. We're not changing class, our government. Class that's making war. Do we want any of these? We're, we're not doing domestic trade routes. Don't need that. We already have no war weariness at all, so we definitely don't need that. Cool. Um, let's get Reformed Church, because it's only one turn. Actually, let's get Professional Sports, because I think we're going to keep our Builder Policy for another couple of turns, I think. Choose Research. Oh, let's just knock that out. Let's just get it. Why not? Uh, I think we actually have a Spearman we could upgrade anyway. Um, Pella, you built a Builder. Great. Um... Operation Ivy allows thermonuclear devices. You do not have a space district. Can you build any districts? You could build a spaceport, actually. Um, we already have cities with spaceports. It would be nice to get the satellite launched, but... Do we do Operation Ivy? Do we care? You can't build any wonders, right? No. We really don't need the research lab. You know what? Let's do Operation Ivy. Um, we don't really need it, but... All right, Seaport or Art Museum? Seaport's nice, and it does help with food and housing. Um, I think we get an archaeological museum here. Okay. Uh, a zoo would be nice. So would a seaport. So would another district. Uh, I think whatever's going to help most with production, although none of these things do. This helps with gold. Um, you already... You do not have an industrial zone. You could use an aerodrome, I think. Let's do that. Cool. Repair the watermill. No, we're not, we're not doing new government. Thank you, though. Okay, so you just built the niter. Let's see, what are we doing with here? We have a bunch of sawmills over here, I think. Oh, no, these are districts. Oh, that's a district. This is a camp. We could build some mines. I think we're going to want to build a sawmill with you, though. Is there anything else we want to do with you, like up here? I think you're fine. Okay, let's build a sawmill. Um... I think this counts as coast, right? Can we build a resort here? No. Oh, you know what? We could uh, we could get a uh, pasture here. I didn't realize because Quengo uh, it's part of Quengo's tile. Great. Okay, this bomber. Do your thing. Um, yeah. We're going to keep... Yeah, these guys still are not attacking us for some stupid reason. I thought I moved someone into the city. Maybe I meant to and forgot. Uh, can you move into the city? No. All right, you head that way. You head... Um, I guess you might as well just go this way. Uh, do you have any movement left? No. You do have movement left. Why do you have more movement than this one? Two movement. And this one's a higher rank. And a core. Oh, is it because of the observation balloon? I don't think so. You can't attack. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Um, oh, we're in striking range. Excellent. Very excellent. All right, you're just going to move right up. Cool. Um, oh, you already moved. Okay. Um, crazy angels. Yep, attack that thing. Missionary's not doing anything. The missionary, at this point, because we're at war, the missionary would just complete, oh, Jake, get annihilated. I should just put it to sleep. Oh, it is asleep. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. These guys can both attack Bergen, and they shall.
Oh, wow. And this helicopter should be able to just take it. Uh, are there any wonders? Yes, there is a wonder here. The Hanging Gardens. Very nice. So, because we will be getting that, we might as well... And you can definitely reach there, right? Yeah. We might as well attack things. You attack. Because we're going to heal up. Every, every one of our units is going to be healed. You attack here. You attack here. Um... You're not going to be hurt. Ah, uh, ooh. Right. Use another unit over here, huh? Um, how much would it cost to purchase some kind of unit? A lot. Uh, maybe I don't need to worry about it right now. Let's... Um, but I can take care of that ranger, because I don't want to see me. Yeah, should destroy you completely. We don't need it to bombard this turn. So that works out. And at some point, we'll need to get someone to take care of that. Or we just have a bunch of units that are all busy. Uh, a builder here. We have two builders here, actually, which is great. This one has six builds. Wonderful. And the idea was that we give you more production, right? We can do that. This one is one. Uh, is there anything we can do in here with these new cities? You know what? Let's get, um, let's get some seaside resorts. Can we do that? Can we do that here? I guess we'll find out. I guess I should look at the appeal rating. Um, we're not going to do you yet because we want to be able to attack first. Um, well, we'll move you up here, and then I'm not sure what we're going to do. So you're going to heal completely. So we might as well move you in here, and have you attack. I mean, they will be attacked next turn, but I think it's okay. We can finally see that Barbarian Outpost, which is very good. No, uh, I'm going to look at all of our other units first. So you took that encampment. Are there any other encampments around here? I think so. I think there's one. They're just everywhere. There's one down here. Oh, but we have you. Great. Go for it, man. Okay, then. I guess this guy can move back up to the nearest airport to deploy. Where's the nearest airport? I thought there was one around here. I thought. Well, we'll move you up this way. Okay. Nope. Not yet. Ah. Um, yeah. So none of these guys are going to be quite close enough to take to actually deal damage this turn, unfortunately. Uh, is that the last unit? No, oh, we have a builder here. In Pella... We could chop some of this um, rainforest. That might not be a bad idea. Ooh, there's a hill here that we need to mine. Oh, wait, no, we can't. That's not in our territory. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to buy it. There we go. And that'll help with this industrial zone. Wonderful. Um, any more units? Builder here. Um, anything we can do. I think the idea, this is an industrial zone. Oh, this is the industrial zone. There's actually not a lot you can do here, is there? Huh. You know what? I built stuff here, but I bet we could have built a Petra there instead of those districts. Oh, well, it's too late now. There's just not a lot of desert tiles on this map. Um, mm, so you're building a builder. I think the idea is that we want, um, you know what, well, let's chop some of the rainforest and see if we can't get resorts. Uh, let's start with this one. All right, any more units? Nope, that's it. 
So, let's take Bergen. Excellent. And we captured a unit. Um, oh, a builder. Great. Bergen is ours. Uh, we might as well use this to attack the Barbarian. Uh, we are definitely keeping that city. We could liberate it to Norway, but no. Mm, no. Uh, you, your housing is actually okay. Let's, let's build that water mill first. So I think next we could either go for Nidaros or Sydney. I'm, I might go for Nidaros first because, um, do they both have wonders? Nidaros definitely has wonders. No, I don't think Sydney actually has any. So Sydney's not as valuable to us or Galong for that matter. Um, Nadaros is very valuable, uh, and we get to see what else is up here, uh, that we might want to leave for Australia. Okay, so, I think that's gonna be this entire episode. I, I know my episodes lately have been long. This one, I'm gonna try to keep short. We're over half an hour, so I think it's fine. Um, but we, we did capture a city. We are still on the way to a cultural victory, slowly but surely, I think. I think slowly but surely. We're building a lot new builders, which will hopefully be able to build a lot of um, these guys, a lot of the whatever they're called, seaside resorts, which also give us golden food, apparently. Um, or just maybe just gold. So, yeah, it is that. Um, I enjoyed playing with you today. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe and leave comments as you'd like to do, uh, as I like you to do. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.